All right, a while ago we showed that n is 1. Now let's look at part 2. What is the third term of a sequence? All right, let's make some space here. Get rid of these writings. And let's move this up. Let's put it here. All right. What is the third term of the sequence? Now remember for the first term, you say that the number of term is 1. For the third term, it is 2. For the I mean, for the second term, it is 2. For the third term, it is 3. And so on. In part 1, the second term, the first term, I mean, was 1. They want to find out what is the third term. So, here, T3 is what you would write because N shows the position of the term in each sequence. So T3 is 3 times N squared. So the position here is 3. So N is 3. So it's 3 squared. Instead of N squared, you have 3 squared minus 2. So 3 times what is 3 squared? 3 squared is 9 minus 2. 3 nines? 27. 27 minus 2 gives you 25 as the third term of the sequence.